Hey guys, I have a thread up rescue box, so stick around to see what's in here. Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, thank you for checking me out. My name is Heather. I'm a full-time reseller. I sell on sites like Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, ThreadUp, Tradesy, The Real Real, Facebook Marketplace. I'm a homeschool mom of two kids, Grace and Ryan. I'm a volleyball coach, player, and I love Disney. Let me start out with a disclaimer. If this video quality sucks, tell me on your end. <laughs> I ended up figuring out that I was saving my video in poor quality from iMovie, so I have it figured out now. The last video should be good and this video should be good. Sorry for before. Uh, I don't get offended and I don't take offense, but all of a sudden I realized that I am going back to my videos on YouTube and the highest quality is like the 360. Sorry, that's my husband texting me about my failed battery in my car. Anyway, um, yeah, so I didn't realize. Like, it's super good quality because I got a new camera instead of filming on my phone. I'm uploading it on iMovie. It looks great. And then all of a sudden I realized, like, I went back on YouTube and, like, it's really bad quality. Oh, you are so dumb. You are really dumb. So if you've been dealing with that with my channel, sorry and thank you. Um, sorry if we're dealing with it with this video. I'm hoping not. Today's Friday that I'm filming this. And this video will go out on Sunday, so I'm hoping I can get it figured out before then. But I don't know. I'm really, really bad with tech stuff. So it's hard for me just to, like, browse around and figure things out on my own. Like, I need a step-by-step -step guide. Anyway, slightly frustrating. And then today I was going to go somewhere with my car. My battery died. My battery's been getting crappy lately. And my husband was like, oh, sorry, I should have done that sooner. So I couldn't leave. And then this happened, and then I'm like, after a while, like seriously, like an hour or two, I'm like, screw it. Can I say that curse word now? I need to just get my work done and do my listings, because right now, I'm not making money on YouTube. I'm doing it for fun, but I still want it to be good, and I want the quality to be good. I have a coach box here. I'm going to start stop ranting, and we're just going to hope that that gets figured out. Okay, coach box. So this is five purses for $100, I think. Yes. One of them usually is an accessory, which is usually a wristlet or something like that. One of the best things I got for my accessory was this little jewelry box and actually sold for like $70. So that was amazing. I'm going to go through these. I'm going to show you what they look like, if there's any flaws. If you're interested in any of these items, you can message me. You can DM me on Instagram. You can email me or you can leave a comment below. Okay, let's get into it. First, we have this black patent leather coach. It looks like it has the monogram C's all over it with the little logo right there. It also has a fob, coach fob. So as you know, if you watch my channel, my Google lens doesn't work. It keeps saying connection issue, no clue what's going on. I tried to download this app called Reverse Image Search. It seems like it's pretty good, but it doesn't seem like it's as good as the Google lens. There's a spot there in the bottom, if you can see that, light blue. But otherwise it looks pretty clean on the outside. I'll be able to use this Creed and I'll be able to look up the style number. Honestly, um, my first thought of this one is it's not going to go for a ton. Like I might be able to make 10 or 15 bucks on it. So we'll see. I am going to be trying something new with a lot of these purses I get is sending them back to thread up if they're in good condition. I was watching someone's videos. I don't remember her name right now, but purses can't get returned. So that would be amazing because sometimes I make really good sales on thread up and then they have 30 days to return them and I'll get returns and that sucks. Um, like this one's super clean on the outside, but I don't know if they would accept it because of that on the inside. And normally I don't pick $10.99. You can pay $10.99 to return items that they don't accept. I don't pick that because almost everything I was sending was 99 cent fines from my local thrift store. So I'm like, I don't care if like four or five items don't get accepted. Like that doesn't matter. But if I start sending in some of these purses, I probably would pay that because I would want to get the item back. I don't know why I'm showing you the inside again. I'd want to get it back. That way I can still sell it since it is higher. Hey, this is my accessory. I was just saying that sometimes you get different things. Let me take it out of the bag because that was dumb. It's a watch. It's a little coach watch. So it's silver. It has like the monograms all over here. That's pretty cute. Um, there is some numbers in the back. So I guess I'll be able to look those up. I have no clue how much coach watches go for. It needs a new battery, like pretty much every watch that I feel like you get. But that could be good. It could be better than like the wristlets and stuff. So a watch and a purse so far. Let's 
do this big one. This is something I feel like a style I don't really ever get or a pattern. So that's fun. This is like a cheetah animal print, heart print, tote bag. It says Coach New York up there. And then we have this one. This seems like newer, like a newer style, which is awesome because I feel like I get a lot of like older ones. This is super clean. It almost looks reversible. Is that such a thing on tote bags? Reversible? I say that because it's right here too. So, and there's like no tags in the inside. I mean, is that possible? I don't know. That seems weird, a reversible tote, but maybe not. But I feel like it'd be hard to like reverse it out and shape it, but maybe it is reversible. Hmm. I'm going to have to look up information on this. If you know anything about it, let me know down below in the comments. But I really like this. It's really cute. So we shall see about that. Here's like the style that I get a lot. <laughs> These monogram, like kind of 90s style bags. Although the 90s and Y2K are coming back. It's got the big buckle here on the side. It looks like it's pretty clean. There's kind of a little bit of well, like a weird little stitching or spot right there. And like a little bit of wear on the corners. But nothing horrible. I don't see any like obvious stains. It has a pocket back here. And then let's check out the inside. See, like something like this. I'm like, if I could send this back to thread up and I could sell it for way more in there, like she was selling, she was paying like $30 for Michael Kors and Kate Spade purses and making like $100 profit on them. I'm like, okay, that would be nice. You can't really see much because it's black, but it does look like it's really clean. Um, there's a bobby pin in here. You never know what you're going to find. Wish it was something good. Here's the Creed, so... I'm assuming authentic. I'll look up to see how much it's worth, but this might, I might start experimenting and sending things back. So we shall see about that one. And my last one looks like something that's really good. And this is my favorite thing to get in these boxes. I'm so happy. It is a vintage black leather crossbody. This kind of looks like the Cortland style, but I'm not sure. It's got a top handle with the crossbody strap. I got one before that didn't have the crossbody strap has the coach fob here. These vintage ones are so good. They're so well made. It has the turn lock and like here's the inside. I think I'll definitely sell this one myself. The Creed is stamped on there so I'm not really going to be able to show you guys but it is really clean. So that's exciting. Okay so we have the vintage one which I'm definitely selling myself. This one I might send back to them. Maybe I'll try it. This one, depending on the comps, I don't know. If I can like make 50 bucks, I think I'll keep it. But if it's like lower, I might try to send them back. But I really like this style and I think it's cute and I kind of want to sell it. So we'll see. This one also, I don't know if they would accept it because of the interior staining. But the rest of it's really nice because I might want to try to send this one back too. And the watch, we'll see about that as well. <laughs> I don't know if they don't accept things if they don't have batteries. So anyway, that's fun. I definitely like the vintage one the best. Let me know what you guys thought of this box. And I will see you guys soon with another video. Thanks for watching. Bye.